Shalom and Boker Tov, everyone, Joshua here, and welcome to another Torah study. Question, how important is it for us to keep the Shabbat? Well, silly, it's a mitzvah or a commandment, so obviously it is of utmost importance that we keep the Shabbat. Second question, is Shabbat on Saturn Day or Sun God Day? Well, peeps, it's neither. Those two days are actually lies as far as Haya Shabbat is concerned. However, I am so not just going to willy-nilly give you the answer. No, as I have done through prayer and study, Haya has revealed his truth unto my nefesh. I implore you the same through study and and prayer to ask all y'all to reveal to you. But no, I am just so not going to give you the answer to this one because this one drives me crazy. It really gets under my skin that people had the audacity to do what they've done. Just like finding all the perversions in, in the Bible from people in their agendas, those that serve the prince of the power of the air, oh, it gets under my skin. But Shabbat is one of those things that I have been studying for a long time, and I now understand one of the aspects as to why Haya Shabbat is the way it is, is because it's not congruent with the world. When the world wants to do business, those of us who choose Haya over this world stop doing everything, every, everything, other than, of course, like Yehoshua said, if somebody needs to be healed or helped. You help them on Shabbat. That's, I mean, obviously, God is not going to condemn you for helping somebody. But what we're not supposed to be doing is basically enjoying our time. Like, Shabbat was not made for us to necessarily enjoy our time. No, Shabbat was developed so that we focus solely on Haya. We give praise unto Him for His goodness. We study His Word at our full capacity. Shabbat should be a day for rest and reflection on Haya, studying his word without interruption. And that's the challenging part is without interruption. And that's why as I move forward, getting back into Shabbat is I will be again turning off all electronics. I'm not even going to use lights in my house. Of course, I'll keep the refrigerator on. They, I don't want the goods to go spoiled. And I'm sure Haya would not want that either. Um, but yeah, turning my phones off, no radio, no, no videos on YouTube, whatever, just cutting it all off, straight up focus on Haya, his word, and laying his mitzvot on my heart, mind, and soul, and giving thanks unto him. But here in Isaiah 56, uh, verses 1 and 2 and 6 and 7, how y'all makes it pretty clear what his thoughts on Shabbat are. So let me get right into this. Verse 1, chapter 56, Thus says the Adon, Keep ye judgment and do justice, for my Yehoshua is near to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. Ashrei is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Shabbat from polluting it, and keepeth his hand from doing any ra'ah. Verses 6 and 7. And the sons of the stranger that join themselves to the Lord. Little, little pause right there. Yeah, that's me. I'm the sons of the stranger that joined myself to the Adon. To serve him, and to Ahava the name of the Adon. To be his servants, everyone that keepeth the Shabbat from polluting it, and taketh hold of my covenant, even them will I bring to my holy mountain, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar, for mine house shall be called an house of prayer for all people. See how important it was? That we keep the Shabbat. Yeah. And unfortunately. Men through their agenda serving the devil. 
have obscured this. But that is not to say the truth cannot be found. Hall y'all will reveal. If you go to Hashem with full supplication in all of your prayer, that you truly desire Him, He will reveal. But until you come out of your presuppositions and your indoctrinations, you're just not going to see this. It is very important that we keep the Shabbat. It says right here, Blessed is the man that doeth this, that keepeth the Shabbat. <laughs> Peeps, it's not hard. I mean, even look at, Look at uh, uh, Psalm, was it Psalm 92, 1 right here. A psalm or song for the Shabbat day. This is beautiful. It is a tov thing to give thanks unto the Adon. I mean, what do we do on Shabbat? Give thanks unto the Lord. And to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. What else do we do on Shabbat? We sing songs of praise. To show forth thy chenve chesed, or loving kindness, in the boker, in thy faithfulness, every Layla. You know, that's it's a beautiful thing when we actually take time to understand the Shabbat of Haya. It's beautiful. Well, like I said, you know, it's not something that we just stop helping others, but... The whole idea is that we don't focus on ourselves, but we take that day and focus on Haya and rest our bodies. You know, now if somebody comes to our door needing food, needing help of sorts, then yes, absolutely. That is unimpeachable that we at that point assist that person in the mighty name of Yehoshua. That wouldn't be doing good on the Shabbat, but what we don't pursue are our own desires. We don't pursue our own wants of enjoyment. No. We humbly sit down and give full reverence to Haya on Shabbat and give thanks and praise unto him. And so that's how it's easy to discern that Shabbat has been messed up by the hands of men and those that serve the devil, right? Because obviously, Shabbat has been placed on a single day. And uh, I can tell you that that's wrong. It is blatantly wrong. Um, all I can say is, again... Study and pray unto Haya. Ask him for his truth. He'll reveal it. All I can tell you is Saturn Day and Sun God Day are definitely not the Shabbat. But uh, it's up to you to dig deeper and find the truth. As for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov in the mighty name of Yehoshua. And I pray his truth of Shabbat is revealed unto your heart, mind, and soul. I pray that you have eyes to see and ears to hear. There's so much deception out there. Got to come out of it and ask all y'all for his truth. I'm out of here. Shalom.